um, didn't have enough space on their MacBook Air, MacBook Pro. Uh, for an example, if you go to about this Mac, and then you go to, uh, you can still see I have uh, Mac OS Mojave on it. And then I'm, but my storage is not enough to install Big Sur. Well, it was at 12 gigabytes just now. I might have deleted a few things. But um, this is not enough to really install Big Sur. You need about, I think it was about 12 gigabytes, if I'm not mistaken. So what I did was I installed it here on the external uh, uh, Seagate backup drive that I have. Uh, as you can see, when I installed it, it, it showed these three, uh, I mean, these uh, five folders. And when I searched through these folders, I couldn't find the previous data that I had before, which was about 700 gigs of just like data that I have previously. I do a lot of car videos and, and uh, so I have all the videos in there saved as a backup. But when I go to, um, when, if you click more, I think it's more info, get info. Hold on for a second. Sorry, guys. Let me just. Uh, sometimes this thing runs slow. All right. If you click on get info, you can see that um, I'm using about 700 gigs. And Big Sur is only like about 12 gigs, if I'm not mistaken. So the data is still here. So. That's the major problem most people are having right now. They can't find their data, but you could obviously still see that it's there. So what we're going to do, we're going to figure out how to get to your data as to how to remove Big Sur if you already install it on the external drive. Uh, I'm not sure if you could just delete the files because I know it's, it's reformatted into a different format, but I didn't do research on that. I just wanted to get to my files and move it over to like maybe on another... Uh, external hard drive so what you're gonna do you're gonna click on where your uh, you're gonna plug your external hard drive in click on it it's gonna take you right to where uh, Big Sur is installed what you want to do is hold down shift right you hold down shift you hold down command on your keyboard right and then the period button the period button is like after you finish using a sentence, you hit the period. You hit that down. What it's going to do is going to do this. You see how everything pops up? Those are hidden files that that the system put all your uh, data that was once stored before. on. Uh, it made it hidden so you couldn't access it. So where your data should be previously before you install Big Sur is in volumes right here you want to click on volumes and then you click on this here uh, it should be so I don't know what brand um, um, hard drive you guys might have but it should usually be in volumes but if you search throughout the you know this is where all my data is right here all of it all of it so I found that you could check too this is where my data is because this folder itself Let's check how much gigs it's taken up. You can see right there. It's taken up about, uh, here, 683 gigs on disk. So this is where my data is. So I hope that I've solved you guys' uh, issue with uh, installing Big Sur on external hard drive. That's how you could recover your data. And... Uh, I'll talk to you guys on the next one. This is uh, Limited Spec, a.k.a. Omar. Uh, you could follow me if you like, but I usually just post card videos and all. But uh, thanks uh, for watching.